This is how I was able to see private archived posts slash stories of users on Instagram without following them. I am Mayur Fartada from Mar Mashadra. Sorry if I mispronounced that. This is my first bug in the Facebook bug bounty program. Can you imagine? This bug could have allowed a malicious user to view targeted media on Instagram. An attacker could have been able to see details of the private slash archived posts, stories, reels, IGTV without following the user using the specific media idea. Details include likes, comments, save count, display URL, image URI, Facebook link page if any and others. The impact is that the data of users can be read improperly and the attacker could be able to regenerate valid CDN URLs of archived stories and posts. Also by brute forcing media ideas, the attacker could be able to store the details about the specific media and later filter which are private and archived. The steps are obtain the posts, real IGTV stories, media idea by brute forcing or other techniques and you send a post request to the Instagram API as you can see on screen right there. So what they do is they send a GraphQL request with that media idea in it. That media idea is of course then going to be brute forced or something and doc ID is redacted of course. In the response, display URL, save count, and other details of the particular media are disclosed. So this is a typical example of broken access control IDOR. After a few days, I found another endpoint with doc ID redacted. I said IDOR, of course, because you have an identifier here that you need. So this is an IDOR. You don't need specifically websites. The thing is, you also have broken function level authorization and you have broken object level authorization IDOR. That is what this is. And the GraphQL just has the wrong access control on it because anybody apparently can access any media ID. Uh, after a few days, I found another endpoint with doc ID, which discloses the same information. Access token was passed through the post request. So when I tried to access the media IDs and the medias of different accounts, I got data null in the response. The step is to send a post request to the API again to GraphQL. And we're going to add a few parameters here, like the access token, the ID, the fetch actor ID, the server timestamp and the doc ID. The media ID is again going to be the media ID of the post that, that we've been brute forcing or whatever. And other parameters are not included. Access token is a valid Facebook access token and the response gave data media null. Then the access token was changed to null and the person got access to the information. Also same endpoint is disclosing Facebook page linked to an Instagram account, but Facebook page and Instagram account link is public. You can see that here. The parameters that were used again are on screen. We have that access token, we set that to null. We have the variables, again, we have an access token, we have an ID, we have a fetch actor ID, the server timestamp and the doc ID. In the response, we do see the CDN link. So you can view this media. The fix has changed the above endpoints. So this is an endpoint, a API call that is being made to GraphQL and in GraphQL we're going to just get the media of other people can be public but can also be private and the problem is anybody can see that private information. As for the timeline the report was sent on the 16th of April. On the 19th of April the Facebook security team required more information. That information was sent the same day and the report was three hours three days later. So on the 22nd of April. On the 23rd of April, we found another endpoint disclosing that same information. On 29th of April, it was fixed. And on the 29th, also the vulnerability was not completely patched, sent the information to the Facebook security team and some messages were exchanged. Eventually, the 15th of June, a nice fat bounty of $30,000 was awarded. For your first bug on Facebook, my friend, that is fucking amazing. After reviewing the issue, we have decided to award you a bounty of $30,000. Below is an explanation of the bounty amount. 
Facebook fulfills its bounty award through Buckroot and Hacker One. Your report highlighted a scenario that could have allowed a malicious user to view target media on Instagram. This scenario would require the attacker to know a specific media ID. We have fixed this issue. Thank you again for your report. We look forward to receiving more reports from you in the future. Well, the whole point of security is hopefully that you don't need too many reports, of course, but really well done. Uh, if you want to learn about broken access control, go visit txsfred.com and use code RED for a nice discount. We have a broken access control course that teaches you everything about this stuff. Thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.